nice touch. I'm Zenoch Roman, co-publisher of Surfcasters Journal magazine. Today I will be talking to you about daughters. As I explained in the original video, uh, we have done a lot of videos with a lot of pros or sharpies or whatever you want to call them and they gave you their opinions, what they like and how they like to fish it. And I just thought since I was going through my stuff and putting it away, I figure I'd give you my views on the way I fish some of these plugs. Uh, you're never going to agree with everything I say. You're never going to agree probably with half of what they said. But that's what makes it interesting. If you pick up a thing or two and it helps you catch a fish or two, I think it's, it's worth an effort. Uh, I always feel like when I see people at the show and they tell me, you know, I got this from your book or I saw the video. And actually yesterday a guy told me, you know, I was watching your video on how to improve my cast. And that helped me a great deal. I learned how to use a bailless reel because, you know, look, if we can help one person doing these videos, it's just a pain. Of, it's just paying it forward. We're just giving back because the sport has been so good to us. Uh, we got such joy out of doing this that, you know, if we can share it with you and you enjoy it. And if you don't agree with it, that's fine. But uh, again, I want to tell you how I fish them. So that way, if, you, if it helps you in, in your neck of the woods, that's great. That, that would make me thrilled. So. Here we go. Today, it's daughters, okay? I'm going to go over some of the daughters that I use, some of the daughters that I have, some of the daughters that, you know, I don't use enough, some of them that I probably use too much. So, our first on the list is going to be Super Strike Daughter. Um, I'm going to say that I use that daughter, oh my God, 90% of the time, 95, 99, 91 or 1.3, no, I'm just... It's somewhere around 99% of the time. Um, and now, before you judge me and say, well, how can you, you know, use the same lure? You have to understand that depending on where you fish, you will have the plugs designed for those areas. And the people that have designed them are put a lot of thought and effort in making them fit those specific locations. In our case, on Long Island, uh, Donnie Musa from Superstrike has designed most of the lures. So we tend to use them because they were designed for shallow, fast water, which we fish. Makes perfect sense. Uh, if you fish in a Cape Cod canal, Super Strike Dart, although of course it's gonna catch plenty of fish, that's not even a question. But with a depth and a speed of the water, it's probably not going to be your best shot of getting fish. Where if you're fishing a Montauk, rocky shore on the north side with the water sweeping over a very shallow bar uh, i mean nothing better other than needlefish uh, than the super strike daughter so you know it's one of those things uh let's just go through some of them uh i'm going to go through some that i have here on the table including this gorgeous one this is uh, uh google man uh glenn lewis makes this which is one of the most beautiful lures that i have ever seen uh so this is just, just, I'm afraid to throw this in the water, but I know I will this, this year. Uh, if this doesn't look like squid, then nothing does. So let me start with something that you've probably never seen. Uh, this is a tiny daughter, maybe uh, three quarter of an ounce. I don't remember who made them. I bought them at Causeway many, many years ago. I really never used them that much. I think Bill Wetzel is the one that always uh, wants somebody to make him a tiny little daughter's like these these are really really small daughters by the way there's mag daughters that Yuzuri makes the plastic ones those are not really daughters they are tightly wound swimming plug they have i have a daughter in the name but they're not a daughter okay um this daughter kind of daughter a uh, vertebrae lure uh, it has a slope like a daughter it kind of fishes like a daughter but it's really like moving like an eel than like a daughter. So I wouldn't consider that to be your typical daughter. So I'll, I'll discard it. Also, I have a plug right here. I got to reach out. It's right here. All right, this is a North Bar bottle daughter. It has the face uh, that's a hybrid from uh, a daughter and a bottle plug. 
uh, kind of almost like a ball plug with the slopes been cut off. An excellent plug in its own way. Again, not a pure daughter. Okay, what does daughter do? Okay, what does it do? Um, like you said, your, uh, your Zuri Mac daughter will go tight like this. It, it won't go wide. Uh, needlefish won't do much of anything unless you import some action. Uh, swimming plugs will generally go tight because of their lip. And depending on the slope of the lip and the, the degree of the lip and the width of the lip and you know what is it made from, it will give you the, the actual uh, motion underwater. Uh, bottle plug will have its, its, its face, the pop will have its, its face, uh, uh, concave face pushing water. What will daughter do? What we consider daughter, in Northeast where we fish for striped bass, mostly bluefish and weakfish, the daughter will go, will zigzag, okay? So it will go this way, all right? So it will go this way, and I'll explain why. It'll go this way, and when it reaches the certain point, it will turn the other way. And now we'll go this way, and we'll go this way, and we'll go that way. So it will go in the Z formation, okay? So it'll go, it'll swing like, like this, like almost. If you could imagine a line underwater from point A to point B where it goes forward, so point A, point B, point C, point A, so it, it, it goes like that, okay? So that's your, your regular daughter motion. Why does it do that? Okay, the, the, these lures work best in, in fast water okay in moving water i'm not going to say fast fast but i'm going to say moving okay so if you don't have a moving water this daughter will come out like this like this like this and won't do shit. if you don't have a moving water moving over the slope of this face it will just come out straight it, it would look like worse than a needlefish it would look like a dead piece of wood which it is but once you introduce the current okay so you cast this up current this really works when it gets to about 12 o'clock. So you want to cast it slightly up current. You don't want to go too far. That depends on how many people you're fishing with the whole nine yards. Slightly up current. When it comes to 12 o'clock, you start to retrieve. You straighten out. You get all your slack. When the water, the current hits the face and it starts going against the current is where it's going to start to swing. That's how it's designed, okay? So against the current, it will sweep back and forth. So... You have the small ones, you have these uh, smaller ones than some people uh, have done. I think this is Chupi, I'm not sure if he makes them anymore. Most of them are bigger. You have your uh, old uh, Gibbs Street Hook daughter. Um, these are Johnny's daughters, really pretty daughters, really did well with them these years. This is a custom daughter by someone, I'm not sure who made this. Um, this is... An old man daughter, we call it. A, a local guy makes them. They are very heavy. They're about four ounces, three hooks. They dig really deep in the rough water uh, when you got big bait present. Uh, three ounce beach master. This is an unfinished one. Uh, again, big, big, uh, big fish plug. Uh, bigger water plug digs a little deeper than a normal. Uh, of course, your, your standard uh, um, God, I, I don't think I'd go anywhere. Uh, on a honeymoon without a yellow daughter, never mind fishing. But you got your standard Super Strike yellow daughter, you have uh, black and green here. I mean, I always have a bunch of them. Um, so where do you fish them? Well, you fish them wherever there's moving water, okay? So we already covered that. You don't want to stagnant water, you don't want to fish them on a slack tide. Do you want to fish them in an inlet where there's 30 feet of water ripping at seven knots? No. No. Because... For those kind of locations, the bass will be held somewhere against the rocks or, or somewhere where there's a break in a current underneath on the bottom where, where they don't have to expand a lot of energy. They will rarely feed up on the top. If they are, it will be usually a smaller fish. I'm not talking about blitz condition in Cape Cod Canal where there's herring leaping out of the water and 40-pound bats are chasing it. I'm talking about a normal conditions. Not, a, oh my God, it's Christmas again kind of thing, because we would all love to be in those situations. So my point is know your area and situations. If you have a fairly shallow water with a fast moving water, anywhere close to the inlet, anywhere there's jetties close to the inlet with a shallow uh, depth, daughters work great. Back bays, back bays are awesome for daughters. You have all these channels that are draining, especially on the mouths of these channels where are draining in a bigger channel. That's a beautiful place to fish these daughters. Um, don't forget that also 
during the stormy situation or high wind situation, even on the beaches where they don't have a current per se, let's just say two beaches that are in the middle of nowhere, not uh, uh, close to the jetty with benefits from the current coming, I'm sorry, inlet, coming from the inlet, um, they will have a sweep and you can use that sweep as a current, okay, instead of a current. So my point is the wind will create sweep which you can use as you, you, you would use a current. So it's the same, same principle. Uh, obviously, Montauk, Rocky, Shoreline, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Cuttyhunk, Block Island, I use them everywhere. They work just as great. Um, if you use them at um, LBI in Jersey, they're probably not going to work as well unless you got some sweep because you don't have a lot of current there. And, you know, and uh, if it's too shallow, it's going to bounce in the bottom, which... You know, we always used to make fun of Jersey guys that they fished these called potato chips metal lips. Well, guess what? Lefty and, and, you know, all the guys before him, they designed their metal lips to fish that area. And they had a shallow slope in beaches. And those metal lips that they designed worked best for Jersey. And, you know, so that's what they adapt to and that's what they use. So that's my point is that use whatever you need for the situation that you're in. If you need a deeper diver, uh, deeper diver metal lip, use the, use the heavier uh, uh, beach master. For most situations, I use super strike. Sometimes you want a wider body because you want to look like a bigger bait. Sometimes you want to look like squid. I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, so that is basically the basics of daughters. Um, not too deep of a water, fast water preferably, over shallow area, anywhere where you can find an um, irregular situation, which is the whole Think about this surf fishing. If you can find an area which is different than the rest, okay, I know it's simplistic, but if you can find a, a, a jetty in the middle of sand, it's probably where most of the fish will gravitate, okay? If you find a cut in a sandbar where there's a parallel sandbar, but there's only one cut, you're going to find most of the fish because the bait fish will congregate around those areas you look for cover, so will the fish, and they also will feed and use that as a feeding station to hide from the current, to ambush the bait. Can you be used in so many ways? My point is don't overthink it. Why? Find it. Find the best structure on the beach, and then use the proper lure to present it to the fish. Okay, so daughter is one of the, my, one of the favorite to use uh, basically, it's a primarily a night lure. It does work in the daytime, but it seems to for me work at nighttime a hundred times better, a thousand times better for me personally. But then again, I don't carry many daughters in my bag during the day, so it's no surprise. The second thing is they cast well. They don't cast great. They're not a popper or pencil poppers. They're not back weighted. They cast good for their size. They don't do well in a rough situations. Okay, if you have a rough surf. They tend to get thrown around. You definitely want to go with a bottle plug or, or bucktail, something heavier. They will dig deeper. So that's basically my primer here. I think I had, I, I, if you're going to excuse me, I'm going to reach over here. I usually use these paper uh, clip type uh, clips. This is, uh, you know, to attach the lures. I can take them out at nighttime without even looking at it or, you know, worrying where the hooks are and stuff. Uh, this is uh, new by Spro, but Tactical Anglers, it's just as good and probably the most popular one. But I just want to mention that I don't particularly like them with teasers. I don't, I know they work. I don't like them with teasers, just, just the way I fish. Um, I know you can add weight to them. I wouldn't recommend, especially with Super Strike. They make them very unstable, unless you're brilliant and you know where to put that weight but to just drill it and load it with weight. I've seen guys work with it, but I swear to God, if the guy took just a broomstick with a lot of lead, he would have caught a lot more fish instead of bragging that he used a five ounce daughter. But whatever, it's my opinion, okay? So there's my thing on the daughters. Again, check out surfcastersjournal.com. It's our online publication. We've been at it for 10 years now. Uh, be our 10th anniversary in November. Uh, you can check out probably 50 or 60 pages that are free to everyone. Every issue, you just go to the surfcastersjournal.com. You flip the pages with a mouse. There's some exclusive videos. There's all kinds of stuff in there on cooking, on law fishing. We got columnists like John Skinner. So just check it out. This is why we do these videos, to make you aware of the whole thing and to give you some back. I mean, like I said, this is a lot of fun. It it's, has enriched my life in so many ways. And if I can help one of you, 
that will be awesome.